So for this project, I thought that I would paint a smaller watercolor portrait of a simple forest. My reference photo came from Pinterest, which is such a great app for reference photos, but that's not entirely important, so let's get into the actual painting. What I'm doing right now is I'm just layering down a simple wash. This wets the paper and makes it easier to use later on, and gives me a general idea of where everything is supposed to be. Right now, I'm just layering the colors on slowly. This piece is rather dark and watercolors dry lighter, so it takes lots of gradual layering. This tends to become a problem because I'm not very patient and I tend to end up messing the colors up. But for this piece, I was able to show some self-control for once. I think that the hardest part about working with watercolor is that one, once you put the paint down, it's pretty much never going to come off the paper, and two, if you have the paper too wet and rub more color on, then the paper will start to tear and parts of it will come off. So it puts a lot of pressure on the artist, but that doesn't stop it from being my favorite medium.
I skipped ahead over the boring parts, and by skipped ahead I mean my camera died, but nothing too exciting happened. I just continued what I was doing earlier and layering out the colors. The brush I used most during the last couple of layers was a fake deer stump brush. I say fake because I took a basic round brush and just cut the tip off so it was flat. This is because deer stump brushes are roughly $20 and I'm not paying that much for one brush. Basically, deer stump brushes are used for mainly leaves of trees and clouds. This is because it is flat and is supposed to be dabbed on the paper so it gives it a more realistic and sporadic texture. I've done pretty much everything but the trees in the background, so that was just my final obstacle. Now for the best and most satisfying part, which is removing the tape.
total, this piece took roughly three and a half hours, which isn't too bad. I'm really proud of how this turned out, even if I did go a little overboard with the opacity of the colors. But that's the end, so thanks for watching.